ഹായ് ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ടു ഹോം സ്കൂൾ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഇയർ ക്ലാസ് എയ്റ്റ് മാത്തമെറ്റിക്സ് എൻ സി ആർ ടി ഓർ സി ബി എസ് ഇ ബോർഡ് വി ആർ ഇൻ എ തേർഡ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ലീനിയർ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഇൻ വൺ വേരിയബിൾ എക്സസൈസ് ത്രീ പോയിന്റ് ടു ആൻഡ് യുവർ പ്രോബ്ലം നമ്പർ നൈൻ ദ ഏജസ് ഓഫ് രാഹുൽ ആൻഡ് ഹരുൺ ആർ ഇൻ ദ റേഷ്യോ ഫൈവ് ഇസ് ടു സെവൻ വി ആർ ടോക്കിംഗ് ഹിയർ അബൌട്ട് എ റേഷ്യോ പ്രോബ്ലം ഫോർ ഇയേഴ്സ് ലേറ്റർ Four years later means after, right? The sum of their ages will be 56 years. What are their present ages? Understand the verbal problem carefully. We start writing the solution by reading again the problem each and every line. Solution. Given, given, what is given in first line? The ages of Rahul and Harun are in the ratio 5 is to 7. Ratio 5 is to 7. I cannot take as it is. Rahul age 5 years, Harun age 7 years. I cannot take. So what I need to do? I need to multiply this with a variable. I need to multiply this ratio for numerator and also denominator with a variable. What variable we are going to take? Let us take x. Okay. Given the ages of Rahul and Harun are 5x and 7x children. I am not going to take a ratio. For the ratio, I am multiplying variable numerator and denominator. The ages of Rahul is 5x and Harun is 7x. Next point. Four years later. Four years later. What is Rahul's age? Four years later. Rahul is... age is equal to 5x plus 4 years okay next harun age is equal to 7x plus 4 next point 4 years later the sum of their ages will be 56 years so now 4 years later what is age of rahul 5x plus 4 age of harun 7x plus 4 now sum of their ages sum of their ages is how much 56 years sum of their ages means we need to add these two ages 5x plus 4 plus 7x plus 4 is equal to 56 Add x variables here. 5x, 7x. 5 plus 7 is how much? 12. 12x plus number 4 plus 4 will be 8 is equal to 56. Now simplify this. Observe where is a variable? Variable is here. Other than this term, what do you have extra? Plus 8. Plus 8 transfers other side. 12x is equal to 56 minus 8. 12x is equal to 48. And this 12. 12 is a multiple. Send on this side. It will be divided. 48 by 12. Cancel. 12 fourths are 48. Therefore, x is equal to 4. X is 4. Is your problem completed? No, no. We need to find the... present ages what is the present age of rahul 5x and harun 7x so continue the problem here therefore the present the present age of rahul is equal to ratio given for that we have multiplied with a variable rahul is equal to 5x that is equal to 5 into x value is 4. Rahul age is 20 years. Next. 
age of present the present age of harun is equal to 7x 7x means 7 into 4 that is 28 years rahul's age is 20 years and harun's age is 28 years is this clear try to listen once again the age of rahul and harun are in the ratio 5 is to 7 5 is to 7 is not the exact age so what we need to do we need to multiply the variable 5x rahul's age harun's age is 7x 4 years later means age increases by 4 rahul's age 5x plus 4 harun's age 7x plus 4 Sum of these two ages is equal to fifty-six years. Add and simplify. You are going to get x value four. That x value substitute in Rahul's age and Harun's present age. You are going to get as Rahul's age is twenty years and Harun's age is twenty-eight years. Tenth problem: the number of boys and girls in a class are in the ratio seven is to five. Again, we are talking here about a ratio, so we are going to multiply a variable seven x five x. The number of boys is eight more than the number of girls. What is the total class strength? Okay, let us start here solution again by reading the question each and every line. Solution given. What is given here? The number of boys and girls in a class are in the ratio. Seven is to five. Given the number of boys in a class is equal to seven x. Okay, and next the number of Number of girls in a class is equal to what do you have denominator five five x. Okay, next line. The number of boys is number of boys. How many are there? Seven x. The number of boys. Is eight more than? This is a statement we need to understand. Eight more than the number of girls. Eight more than the number of girls. Observe here again. The number of boys is number of boys is. Boys, how many? Seven x is equal to. Okay, is eight more. Eight more means plus eight. Eight more than the number of girls. Girls, five x. Okay, frame the equation like this, children. This line is very important. Again, I read here the number of boys. Is is means equal to is eight more than the number of girls. Okay. Now here variable there and here also variable there. What we need to do? Observe properly. Seven x is greater or five x is greater? Seven x is greater. So what do you do? Bring this five x this side. Bring in the sense transpose other side. Seven x. Plus five x minus five x is equal to eight. Seven x minus five x will be two x. You know this. In these two x is common. Seven minus five is two. Two x is equal to eight. Two is a multiple. Send other side. Divide. Eight by two. Two fours are eight. That is x is equal to four. If we know x, we can find how many number of boys are there in a class and girls. But yeah, question: Find the total class strength. 
Number of boys plus number of girls. Now first we will find number of boys. Number of boys is equal to 7x. Substitute x value here 7 into 4. 7 fours are 28. Total how many boys are there in the class? 28 boys are there in the class. Next. Number of. Number of girls. How many girls are there? 5x girls. 5x. X value substitute 5 into 4. That will be 5 fours are 20. So in this classroom 28 boys and 20 girls are there. So final answer. Let me write here. The. The total class strength is equal to. We need to find total class strength. That means that is equal to number of boys. Total number of boys you can write plus total number of girls. Boys 28, girls 20. 28 plus 20 will be 48. So this is your answer. Again if you want you can write one more line. Therefore the total number of class strength is 48. Or you can end up with another line. 48 students are there in a class. Okay. 48 students are there in this class. 11th question. Bai Cheng's father is 26 years Younger than Bai Cheng's grandfather and 29 years older than Bai Cheng. The sum of the ages of all the three is 135 years. What is the age of each one of them? Okay, this question is little confusing, right? Okay, let me write who are the three persons there in the problem. Okay, this is Bai Cheng. Okay, and Bai Cheng's father. Bai Cheng's father. Just B father, I have written here. And here, Bai Cheng's grandfather. Okay, try to understand the problem again. In this problem, there are three persons Bai Cheng, Bai Cheng's father, and his father. Bai Cheng's grandfather. Now, Bai Cheng's father, first line. What we are talking here? Bai Cheng's father is 26 years younger than Bai Cheng's grandfather. Bai Cheng's father is 26 years younger than Bai Cheng's grandfather. So, what is grandfather age? Don't know. Bai Cheng age? Don't know. Bai Cheng's father age? Don't know. Suppose let me assume any one of the age. Let me assume Bai Cheng's age is X. We are talking here about Bai Cheng's father. Bai Cheng's father age is 26 years younger. He is 26 years younger than Bai Cheng's grandfather. That means he is grandfather is 26 more than Bai Cheng's father. Okay. But I am saying Bai Cheng's father is 26 years younger than Bai Cheng's grandfather. So let us take plus 26 age for Bai Cheng's grandfather. Next point. And 29 years Older than Bai Cheng. We are talking about Bai Cheng's father only. Bai Cheng's father is 29 years older. Plus 29 years older than Bai Cheng. Bai Cheng's age let us assume X. Then father age X plus 29. Now Bai Cheng's age and Bai Cheng's father age we know. Let us assume Bai Cheng's age is X. His father age is X plus 29. Then what about his grandfather? 
So in order to fill this, again we need to read the statement. Bai Cheng's father is 26 years younger than Bai Cheng's grandfather. So the age of Bai Cheng's father is x plus 29. And how many years extra? 26 years younger than Bai Cheng's grandfather. Suppose if he is x plus 29, then he will be x plus 29 plus 26 years. Okay, don't be confused. We are talking about Bai Cheng's father. His age is 26 years younger than Bai Cheng's grandfather. So plus 26 give here. And... And the next point, 29 years older than Bai Cheng. 29 years older means that 29 you add for Bai Cheng father. Last line, the sum of all the three ages is 135. Okay, this is just the rough work in order to think. Okay, let start the solution from here. Let Bai Cheng, Bai Cheng's age is equal to X years. Bai Cheng father, Bai Cheng's father age is equal to X plus 29 in brackets years. Next, let Bai Cheng's Grandfather age. Grandfather age is equal to x plus add these two numbers. 9 plus 6 will be 15. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. x plus 55 years. And write the last line. Sum of a uh, 3 person age is equal to 135. Sum of three persons age. Who are the three persons? Bai Cheng, Bai Cheng father, Bai Cheng's grandfather. Add all this. X plus X plus 29 plus X plus 55 is equal to 135. You can write with brackets one time and next line without brackets you can write. Now add all the variables. X X, X. How many times it is there? Three times. X plus X, 2X. 2X plus X will be 3X. Okay. Add these two numbers. 55 plus 29. 9 plus 5. It will be 14. Four, 2 plus 5. 7. 7 plus 1. 8. 3X plus 84 is equal to 35. 84 transpose other side. 3x is equal to 135 minus 84. Subtract 3x is equal to 5 minus 4 will be 1. 13 minus 8 will be 5. Now this 3, what you need to do? You need to send at this side, that is transpose. Then you are going to divide. Okay, let me continue here. x is equal to 51 by 3. Cancel. 3 1s are 3, 2 left, 21, 3 7s are 21. Is the problem completed? No. Still we need to write. What we need to write? We need to write Bai Cheng's age, Bai Cheng's father age and grandfather age. So there is no space here. So let me again continue my problem here. Okay, from here you need to rewrite again. Therefore, Bai Cheng's age is equal to x is equal to 17 years. Yes. Now here 17 plus 29 and 9 plus 7 will be 16 and this will be 4. 46 years. Whose age is 46? Bai Cheng's father. Then coming to Bai Cheng's grandfather. x plus 55 now. So, what is your x value? 17. 17 plus 55 will be 72 years. Finally, therefore, Bai Cheng's age is 17 years. 
Bai Cheng's father age is 46 years. Bai Cheng's grandfather age is 72 years. Okay, is this clear? Don't be confused with 29 and 26 here. You may confuse and you write 26 here and 29 there. No, 26 and 29 for grandfather. Father only 29. Let's see the next problem. 12th when 15 years from now. 15 years from now. Ravi's age. Who is the person in this problem? Ravi. Ravi's age will be 4 times. 4 times his present age. Do you know his present age? Don't know, right? So, we need to assume the age. Let me start the solution here. Let. Let us assume. Let means we are assuming. Let. Ravi's age be x years. Ravi's age be x years. What is your first line? 15 years from now. 15 years from now Ravi's age. What is 15 years from now Ravi's age? 15 years. 15 years from now, Ravi's age is equal to x plus 15 years. Okay. So, again I read the statement. 15 years from now, Ravi's age will be, will be 4 times his present age. Okay. We are going to frame the equation. If you want, you can write from here to here again the statement and start saying here 15 years from now Ravi's age x plus 15 is equal to will be will be equal to 4 times 4 times means 4 into present age is x. See here, these are all not so simple. We need to understand the verbal problem very carefully. 15 years from now, Ravi's present age is x plus 15 is equal to 4 times his present age. x plus 15 is equal to 4 into x, 4x. Now, variable here and here there. On LHS side and RHS side, you have first to see which side it is greater. 1x and 4x which is greater, 4x is greater, right? So, transpose this x to the other side, 15 is equal to 4x minus x. 15 is equal to 4x minus x will be 3x. Other than variable, what is extra? 3 is extra. Transpose this 3 other side and divide 15 by 3 is equal to x. Divide 3 fives are 15. Therefore, x is equal to 5. x is equal to how much? 5. Is it completed? Yes. What is your question? What is Ravi's present age? Therefore, Ravi's, Ravi's present age is equal to 5 years. That's it. With this, we end the problem. So, while you are reading this verbal problems, read two to three times until you understand. Then you put on paper what you understood by reading that statement. Automatically, you get the equations. Okay. With this, I am going to end today's session. In the next session, I am going to continue with the next problems. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all.